And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with section 2.2 of your pre-calc 10 course, I guess. Now, last chapter we dealt with, or last section we dealt with tangents, right? Uh, what did we talk about? Well, we talked about if this is your angle here, that's your, uh, that's your right angle. This is your angle that you're looking at. This is your opposite. That's your adjacent. That's your hypotenuse. And we looked at the tan of your angle as being the O over A, all right? Now, what we've done is we have been looking at specific triangles, uh, specific situations. Say you're given a meter, uh, a, a height of five meters, and say you are seven meters or let's say eight meters away from the base here. Uh, if you wanted to find this side here, what you could do is Pythagoras, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared if you wanted to find the side. Sometimes, however, we're looking for this thing called the angle of inclination or the angle between the horizon, okay, and what you're looking at. So this right here, let's say this is the horizon, the angle between the horizon and what you're looking at is called the angle of inclination, possibly the angle of elevation, okay? So uh, what we did, well, we said the tan of that angle there is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, is equal to 5 over 8. So the ratio is 5 over 8. Now, I showed you the trig tables. I don't happen to have the trig tables with me, but I can show you what we did before uh, or what we did as well is, let's clear everything out. We go 5 divided by 8, boom, 0. 0.625. And we go second tan of 0. 0.625, and we get an angle of 32 degrees. So that means that theta is 32 degrees. Now, theta is a Greek letter that we use to represent a missing angle, just like we use X to represent a missing side or any other letter slash variable. Okay, now what we're going to be looking at now is a situation where you might have a side, but not the angle, or sorry, you have the angle, say that's 30 degrees now, you have this length here, uh, you can measure off the ground as being, say, 10 meters, and you're looking for the height. Okay, now Pythagoras might be something that you could use if you had two sides, but you don't have two sides. You only have one side right here, and you're looking for the other side. So this is where this whole idea of uh, tan theta is equal to over O over A comes in, because you have a variable here for the angle. You have a variable here and a variable here. All you need is two of the three. So you have one, two, three unknown values. What you need is two values to find the third. In this case, we had the two sides, we find the angle. In this case, we have an angle and a side, well, we find the other side. How do we do that? By setting it up exactly the same way. Tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. This is no different than what I wrote up there. The only difference is that I'm actually putting different values in. I have an angle, so it's tan 30. I have a, the adjacent side, so it's, uh, O over 10. And now instead of using O, because that could look like a zero, let's just say height or whatever. Uh, let's just say height, okay? So the height over 10. So now what you've got is a situation where you have an unknown on the top. Well, if you understand your algebra, what you're going to be doing to get rid of the 10 is multiplying by 10. So you have 10 times 10, 30. Okay, is equal to 8. And what we do on our calculator is 10. Let's see if you can see that. 10 times 1030 is equal to 5.77. Well, you know what? We're probably in the wrong thing. So what we need to do, no, we're in the right thing. Uh, see how you can have either R for radians or D for degrees. Um, on other calculators, it's going to look like that up here. It's going to see a... You're going to see a deg or a rad up here at the top, okay? But uh, for us right now, I know it's in degrees. So 10, 30 uh, times 10. And I get uh, h is equal to 5.8, let's say. Uh, so you have a height of 5.8 right here. Boom. There you go. Okay. Now, there might be a similar situation where you are looking for the other side. So you might be given this as 30 degrees. Uh, say this is 10 now. Uh, how big is this? Let's call it the base or the X or whatever you want to call it. Oops, there you go. There it is. But we set it up, folks. The idea is that you set it up exactly the same way. 
you say tan of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. All right, now what do you have? Well, you have theta, because that's the angle. So you go tan 30 is equal to opposite over adjacent. You have the opposite. You're looking for the adjacent. Let's call it X. Now, this is the, uh, the other situation. You can have your variable in the top, or you can have your variable in the bottom. Depending on where your variable is, determines what you actually do. If your variable is on top, what you do is you take this and you multiply it by 1030. So 10, 10, whatever, okay? If your variable is on the bottom, now there's a bunch of algebraic steps that we could follow, but I'm gonna ask you to simply switch these. So what you're gonna end up with is X is equal to 10 over 1030. Now I don't care how you solve this, but you need to figure it out, okay? So I'm gonna go 10 divided by, and I'm gonna go bracket 1030, boom, enter. And I'm gonna close my bracket again. There you go, so it's 17.3. So that means that my base here is 17.3 right here. And does that make sense? Yeah, if you look at the drawing, that's gotta be taller. This is have to be longer than that there. Uh, these are solving for sides using the tangent ratio. Uh, what you have to understand is that every single time, no matter what we did, look, here we're looking for the angle. I was given the two sides. So I just do the second tan button, right? So uh, tan negative one, uh, <clears throat> what we do here is tan negative one of five over eight is equal to theta. And that gave me 32 degrees, okay? And the tan negative one button is right above the tan button, okay? Here, we're looking for the height. Now you have two situations. You're either gonna have uh, the base and you're looking for the height, so it's on top, or you're looking for the number on the bottom. So top, bottom, okay? Uh, two different ways to solve. In this case, what you do is you multiply both sides by 10, and then what happens is you get, eliminate that. You end up with H is equal to 10, 10, 30, which is what I have here. H is equal to 10, 10, 30. And when you do 10 times 10, 30, you end up with 5.8. The other situation is if you have the unknown or the variable in the bottom. Now, you can think about multiplying both sides by X, which puts an X over here and nothing over here because it canceled out. Then you divide by 10, 30. You leave the X over here and you have 10, 30 on the bottom. I don't care what you do to figure this out, folks, but you have to understand there's two different versions. Okay, and we will practice this in class. I hope that helps. Uh, have a nice day. Come again.